it is a lovely evening in the garden the sun is starting to set and we are going to spend it planting up the first two beds in our kitchen garden and in our previous video we shared that we started planting up the first bed with onions and strawberries and the onions have already started to come up it's pretty quick which is really fast i don't recall bulb onions coming up that quickly it could be because it's so hot oh yeah germinating it's, so quickly so yeah quick. yeah right it's really really hot and we've been getting lots of rain so it actually rains tomorrow so we think it's the perfect time to complete these first two beds and going in the second bed we have some broccoli and cauliflower that i grabbed earlier from the greenhouse took me a second to pick out which plants that I wanted, but I figured it out. <laughs> so we have cauliflower, we have some purple basil. Mm, that smells good, doesn't it? it? Smells so good. And it's funny, mm. it smells just like <laughs> it's basil. regular basil. Did it what? It's what basil. Happened? What are you talking about? Is it basil? <laughs> I know, but for some reason, I was thinking it was going to smell different than the traditional basil. Mm, yeah, that's true. I see ways to get there because it might be a variety, it might be like a little different. Yeah, I thought it like. would have a different like twist to it, but it smells exactly like. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, it does. And it actually acts as a pest deodorant for my strawberries. So it's actually going to be going in that first bed. So let's reserve these three for that first bed over there. And the rest of these will be going into this bed. Oh, yeah. We got these petunias from our local Home Depot. And these act as a pollinator and a pest eater. And so all them bees and little butterflies and are coming they, they through. they were really pretty. I really love this color. And it should look really good in this bed, especially with the yellow marigolds that we already have in here. A pop of color just hitting each other. Purple, Pops yellow. Color, yes. <laughs> against the black. That's going to look really good. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to get this picket. So... Let's get <laughs> Before we start, we are going to water this bed in and we are using the square foot gardening method for all of our beds. So we are just taking this seating square and I like using this because it acts as a planting guide when creating your holes. The square is the size of a square foot and it has template spacings for 16, 9, 4, and 1. And to use it, all you do is press the square into the soil and then when you're ready to plant, you're going to poke a hole depending on the plant that you need. And we are just going to repeat this process until the entire bed has that square marking that you see. We have created all of our squares and now I'm going to go through and place the plants where I want them. I like to place my plants prior to planting. It just makes it a little bit easier for me when I am planting up a raised bed. Back corners, we are going in with onions and the onions will act as a pest deodorant. And with the onions, you can plant nine per square feet. So I'm just going to poke the corresponding holes. Sometimes it's difficult with the template because raised beds usually have braces on the corners so i'm just going to go up a little bit with this one it should be all right <laughs> the broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. I am a bit concerned about them standing up to the heat that we're going to have. And we were supposed to actually get these in much earlier, but it took us a while to finally get the soil for our raised beds. So I'm a bit concerned about them. I don't think they are going to hold up well. I have them though, so I'm going to plant them out anyway. And if they don't do well, I do have some other things that can replace them. 
as far as some warm season things like my peppers and tomatoes and things. And also if they don't do well, I can always try again in the fall. Probably get them started at a good time and transplant it at a better time compared to now. We are learning. <laughs> we are going to do better moving forward. I feel like gardening is all about practicing and just getting better over time, learning what works for you, experimenting, and that's really all that matters. <laughs> it's your garden, do what works for you, and have fun. <laughs>
<laughs> my neighbors across the street just started cutting the grass so i think i'm going to end the video here next to this lovely duck and rabbit i love adding little statuary like this sprinkled around the garden i have a few frogs i want to get some turtles i think that would be really cute i feel like it brings like some texture to the garden i guess i guess you can say different elements to give it that like kind of cottagey garden vibe even though i feel like my garden is more of a modern cottage garden <laughs> i also like adding like some lanterns and i don't know if you guys can see this little things like this that i find thrifting i think is so cute but i just want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one